Today, I'm gonna to be comparing two of Canon's Nifty 50 lenses. We're gonna be looking at some side-by-sides and then we're gonna chat a little bit. And if you wanna see more comparison videos or more example footage, subscribe to my channel because there's gonna be a lot more of that coming. Okay, so first we have the Canon 50 millimeter F 1.8 STM. This lens costs about $125. And then there's the Canon F 1.2 LUSM lens. And this lens costs about $1,500. So the Canon 50mm 1.8 was actually my very first lens and I've stuck with it for a long time. But probably like you, I assume the more expensive lens was better and so I upgraded to it recently. But now we're gonna see if that's true, if the more expensive lens is actually better. Okay, so so first we're gonna play a little guessing game. I filmed my husband making a matcha latte with each of these lenses. So we're gonna look at them side by side. And yes, I did use the exact same camera for both of these setups. All right, let's look at it and let's see if you can figure out which one is the more expensive lens. Okay, did you figure it out? Because to be quite frank, I don't know if I could have figured it out if I hadn't been the one filming it. And I'm not sure how that makes me feel. So here's the side by side again, the full version of it with labels. You know, I think I can say the footage on the right looks better, and that may or may not be because I know that that's the more expensive one. I will say, however, that the 50mm f1.2, um, it feels a lot nicer. And so, I mean, the more expensive lens has that nicer feel, that nicer function almost, and you get an eagle high of knowing that you're using more expensive lens, if that's important to you. And other than that, I think you have to decide for yourself which lens looks better. And if you think that the 50mm f1.2 is worth extra, I think like 1300 bucks. So yeah, that is all I have. I honestly can't say that you should buy the more expensive lens because I don't think it produces that much nicer of an image. But hey, my opinion might change after I end up using it more because I did just get it recently. I personally don't regret buying the more expensive lens. It's something I wanted for a really long time and I'm super excited to start filming weddings with it this year. But I am gonna keep the 1.8 as a backup because it still produces a really nice image. So that's it. Let me know if this was helpful or really not helpful and let me know if there's any other comparisons that you want to see or you want to see me make. Um, but yeah, see you later guys.